David, it was a six to three ruling. How does this bode when it comes to uh, the bigger issues regarding those criminal cases? Well, yeah, it's uh, another victory for Donald Trump um, and uh, certainly means almost certainly now he will not face trial over his role in the January 6th um, insurrection um, before the presidential election in November. Um, that was already unlikely. The case was due to be heard earlier this year and got postponed. And now it's virtually dead in the water, at least until after the election. Um, it's been sent uh, back to a lower court for District Judge uh, Tanya Chutkin to decide what were official and what were unofficial acts by Trump in the build up to January the 6th. And that's really based on this Supreme Court decision today, as you say, a six three majority that found um, American presidents um, are immune from criminal prosecution for um, official acts. Um, uh, they're not necessarily immune for unofficial acts in a personal or private uh, capacity. Um, and um, uh, the main ruling written by Chief Justice uh, John Roberts uh, said there's a, you know, there's a presumed innocence uh, for presidents. Um, they're looking to safeguard future presidents from being so worried about prosecution it might affect their action. But uh, really a, a blistering dissent um, from the three liberal justices who were opposed to this decision, notably uh, Sonia Sotomayor, describing this as uh, you know, treating the president uh, like a king. Um, and I think many Democrats, many Joe Biden supporters will uh, will feel that way today that uh, once again, the Supreme Court has sided with Trump and it uh, it gives the president uh, powers uh, was it the, 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 he was never meant to have. And um, some, some people are saying, you know, the, the ghost of Richard Nixon um, is rather enjoying this. <laughs> David Smith, many thanks for that live update uh, from Washington. Stay with us. There's much 